It's me. I'm Holden Leeds. I am the dog walker for Numberside. And my job is to, basically, I walk so many of the dogs for different people in the town. And I thought, uh, Mr. Mayor Harris has said, look, uh, he needs someone to come and talk to you about um, dog walking and things. So we've got some maths today that's all to, to do with the, my job of dog walking and, and the different things I do. So I'm going to be talking to you, first of all, about the routes I take around uh, the Numberside parks. Um, we've got a little a task for you to do there. Then I'm, I need some help. I've got some new a, a delivery of stuff to restock my supplies because the problem is I've got so many dogs that I have to have all these supplies. I'll talk to you more about that in a short while. And then finally, um, I've been training a Star to do some fetching uh, with with buckets and balls. So I could use some help with that as well. So if you can stay around, that would be really helpful. You can find a link to a bit in the description below. Mum, Dad, carer, whoever's looking after you. Grand, grandpa, aunt, uncle can find a link to the worksheets you can work through where you can f complete all the work and uh, at the end of this video I will have told you everything you need to do and then get, get them to take a photo of you and send it, in, send it into my email or my Facebook and uh, I'll feature you in a future video. Now one thing I have been asked by Mr. Mr. Uh, Mayor Harris to, to say is um, last week there was a uh, Walter Flowers, and he's getting a bit old. And unfortunately, he said happy birthday to Amelia, but he should have said happy birthday to Abby. So, I've said, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll do an apology. It's Abby's birthday at the weekend. So, thank you So thank you very much for uh, letting, me, let, letting Mayor Harris know, because uh, we wouldn't want to make that mistake. So, let's get straight started. And we'll start by going straight into Numberside, which is the town that Maths built. And you can see the town is starting to grow now. Um, there is all sorts of, you can see Cafe Zero, and uh, there's a delivery for Venn's Vans, and uh, Stem and Leaf Limited Company, and some of the different houses and things that are being built. So it is, uh, it is growing slowly, so hopefully uh, it will get grow more and more as the, as the different uh, people come up, come in. So anyway, moving on. I, as I said, am Holden Leeds. And my job in Numberside is I take a lot of people's dogs for walks and help them out because they're really busy doing other things. And so the first thing I need help with is I need to take all the dogs for walks, but each dog has is like, because it's Numberside, they, they, they're quite number oriented and they have different focuses that they want to do. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I, I've got four different dogs that I'm, I'm walking, as well as Star, who's been out this morning. I've also got Mrs. Science's Labrador, and we always start at car park A. So you can see the letter on each one is the car park you have to start at. But Mrs. Science's Labrador only goes on routes that continue to count upwards. So, for example, if we start at route six, we have to go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have you. You have to go to the route, and I'll show you that in a second. Mr. Cotton Flowers Collie, he only goes on routes that continues to count downwards. So, if you start at thirty-six, he'd go thirty-six, thirty-five, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, and gradually count down. Mr. Schaefer's German Shepherd Dob, Dob, Dog which starts at car park C, must only go on routes counting up in fives. So for example, you need to know your five times table to, to be able to do that one, going up in fives. And then we've got Miss Deville's Dalmatian. Now, this is a very naughty dog, so we have to always go on routes we haven't been down before, because if she can smell another dog, she goes crazy and gets all excited. So let me show you a top view of the routes that we do. So this is the fields, and you can see all the different trees have got numbers on them. In number side, each tree has got a number painted on the on the bark, so you know which one you're going. So for example, if you're starting at car park A with the first dog, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Science's Labrador, you're going to need to go from A, that starts at two, so you're going to have to go up in order from two to three, and then carry on counting up. If you can't count up anymore, then that tells you where to leave. So you can see there's a place you can leave the leave the field at number 8. There's another one at 30. 
Now, what I've done on your pack is I have given you one without the field, like this, to make it easier. What I reckon you should do is use a colouring pencil or a colouring crayon or a felt pen, and each different uh, route will have a different colour, and you trace the route that, that each one's going to go. So just a reminder, if you wanted to pause the video or come back to it, this is where you come back to with all the instructions for, for this task. You could pause it on that screen so that, the, your, you, the, 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 so that you can have that in front of you while you're doing the route. But that's what your sheet will look like. It will have a, a map of all the different places you can go, but this is what it really looks like, is the fields. Now, obviously, I went out to show you what this was, uh, what was like a bit earlier. So let me just show you show you a link to that. Uh, so where are we? Uh, just I think here. Right, we've got all these routes to go down, all these different paths. Where should we go? Are we going to go straight down that one? Or are we going to go down that one? We're we going to go over there. We're going to go over there. Which way do you want to go? Have you made your mind up yet? You're useless. You just want to look at the ball, don't you? All the time. Right. So that just shows you all the different... Uh, the, the start. We've got, got to do, choose the right path, otherwise she gets really confused. That was when I was out with Star at 7 o'clock this morning. So you can see, we've already checked out Star's route. She's done her route. But can you work out the routes for the other dogs? So that's the first task we need to do. So thank you for helping with that. That's really helpful. Now I've also had a delivery. I have to stock, because I have all these dogs around my house all the time, I have to stock dog food, I have to stock dog chew toys, I have to do, do stock dental sticks, it's, a, it's their way of brushing their teeth, because they don't brush their teeth with a toothbrush. And I also have to stock dog biscuits, because and I keep running out. And, Chew toys. Oh, you wouldn't imagine that I run out of chew toys, but oh, that Miss Deville's Dalmatian. Oh, it just chews up and destroys toys all the time. So, um, what I need is a bit of help. Um, you may be able to help. Uh, let me just uh, show you what I'm what I'm looking for. Time to check the cupboards. We're going to see how much we've got. We've got some new packs of stuff arrived. So we've got the, some dental sticks, so uh, you can have one of these, uh, but yeah, good girl, sit down. Uh, I need to work out how many I've got now, so I'm going to stay here and do some calculations while you take this away, okay? Okay, I thought, yeah, I thought you'd disappear. Right, I've got to work. So what I'm hoping you'll be able to do is, if we just go into here, this is all the food that was in the cupboards. I've, I've sorted it all out for you, so you just need to work out how much food was in the cupboards. And then you can see the bits in black are the, the, the extra deliveries I've had of the extra tins of dog food, the extra dental sticks. You'll notice I've spelt sticks, S-T-I-X. I know that's not how you spell sticks, but dental sticks are spelt like that because they're like a special brand, I think. So it's not how you'd normally spell sticks. And then Risk It Biscuits, I've got ten more biscuits, and then I've got four more chew toys. So if you can work out how many I've got of everything and work out and the totals, you might need to do some adding up, but that's that's the, 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 the monthly food we've got. It's not just food, it's toys as well, obviously. And then we have this special game of fetch. I've been working on fetch with the dogs and I, I did some, some practice this morning um, with different success. Right, we're going to play some fetch now. Okay, I've got the balls, and I need to bring them back. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. So as you can see, well they're done. quite good at bringing it back. And uh, so that's what I've been working on with them. I've been trying to get them to bring back, but what I've been doing, because this is a number side, and they're quite good at this, but Star is very good at it. So what we have is I've got different buckets with different numbers in them, and I try and do it so that they bring back a num the ball and put it in the right bucket so that the total makes 20. So they have to get the right ball and find the right bucket to add up to 20. 
What you need to do is draw a line linking the right ball to the right bucket. But unfortunately, one of the buckets, the numbers got rubbed off. It got dirty, so I cleaned it and the numbers got rubbed off. Can you also work out what number's missing? So there'll be a ball that doesn't have a bucket to go with. You'll then need to work out what number needs to be added to that ball so that they, each ball can go in a bucket. So you'll draw, you've got this on your sheets. You draw a line matching the ball to the correct bucket. And then you'll be able to work out what the missing number is, and that's where the well, that's what you'll write on that for the other bucket. So that's that's the three things I need you to do today. So thank you so much for joining me today for for, for ten fifteen minutes. I hope you uh, um, feel that you're going to be able to help out with some of the stuff that that Star's been doing and and some of the different routes. Remember, you can always come back to the video, pause it to give you your instructions and then use that to try and help you have it paused while you're doing the sheets. The sheets are in the description below. I've been Mr. Harris. I think we might even see each other again on Thursday where we've got someone else coming to speak to you. I can't even remember who that was this week, but someone else will be with you on Thursday. I've been holding leads. You haven't. Thank you very much for joining me. Look after yourselves and take care.